All right, boys, the 12 9 maintenance for JP has officially come out. We have the details to the newest character coming. Hope you guys are ready for it. I know a lot of you guys have been hyping this one up. So let's talk about it. Let's break it down. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. That helps out massively. <laughs> Now again, this is the 12 9 maintenance. Remember, uh, global will get this in two weeks. So we have time. We just got Fest King, so we're gonna be having fun with that. Um, again, hopefully all of you guys popped off. So far, it's been really mixed on the on the summons. Some people enjoyed it, some people got shafted miserably. That's usually how it goes with gacha games. So um, yeah, hopefully you popped off. Um, if you didn't, don't worry. It's uh it is what it is. You joined my bad luck train. Uh, but yes, we do have this new character that's gonna be coming out for the uh, JP update. It is, in fact, the Christmas unit of the one and only Lilia. Yes, get ready. I'm hyped. We also have the banner here to talk about and a bunch of special events. And they brought back Tower of Trials, the old one, which is sick. I, I can't believe it. But let's talk about the unit. Um, again, one new character is appearing with this entire thing. It is a single 600 banner. I don't know how I feel about that, but they are bringing that back. So it's not like Sariel's banner. I wear with Sariel Tarmiel on that banner at 600. It is a single character 600 banner. Um, it could be good, could be bad, could go either way. Just however you want to look at it. But let's go over everything. Um, what this does say is this passive is when an ally of seven disasters, so it has to be a catastrophe, um, deals a single target damage, deals an additional damage based on 10% of their max HP when using, uh, what is it, when using AoE damage, um, deal additional damage based on 7% of their maximum HP. There you go. So it has to only work on seven catastrophe teams. Definitely this seems to work really well with Green Roxy. Probably Green Roxy will do pretty good with this. Again, I can't determine that now, but just given that passive, I see that working. We also have this um, first attack right here, which will be um, dealing 500% flood damage to a single target enemy. Flood deals point, um, what is it, 8% additional damage based on remaining HP. Yeah, we have this over here. It deals 108% uh, damage to all enemies and reduces two ultimate gauges at the end of an enemy's turn. We have this right here. Removes all enemies' um, buffs and deals 350% damage to all enemies. So she doesn't look that bad. Wow, okay. She has flood first off, which is pretty good. Her passive is definitely a catastrophe only type thing. She doesn't look that bad at all. She is a blue, um, and we know that King is a blue, obviously. So definitely not a counter to King, I'm guessing. No, it was not designed for that at all. Maybe the next character, um, or the Holy War, or the collab, that's the King counter that everyone's waiting for. We'll see how that goes. But I mean, A, it's a, it's a pretty good unit, definitely. Um, for a holiday one, probably won't return for like a few months. I said the same thing about the uh, the summer ones, but they decided to bring back all the summer ones. We have the summer Roxy on this banner. We have the summer, I think Merlin and Elizabeth. Where is it? Uh, this right here. And then Merlin. They literally bought, uh, brought them back in what? It's been four months, five months max. I don't even know how, but um, they did it. So I, I don't know why. I don't know why they did it. I don't know. But yes, this is the banner. Again, we have the uh, the other um, Christmas and Lane. We have, uh, what is it, Hawk and Oslo, the fun party one. We have Paladin Deanne, uh, which I believe is the wedding Deanne. We have Queen Roxy, which is the Midsummer one. We have this Easton. Um, we have Human Weapon uh, Mono, the newest one. We have, uh, what is this? Uh, the Summer um, Merlin, Summer Elizabeth, both of those. And then Summer Easton, Summer Valenti. So it's not even just a Christmas banner. It's literally every banner in one. So... You can definitely have fun. A lot of catastrophes on here to pull. And a lot of the rare ones that you may have skipped out on. Again, this is right after Fest King. So it's a high chance you do not have gems for this. And there's a high chance you shouldn't summon on this. Just saying that now. But it is there. This is what it looks like for anyone wondering. I'm telling you now, if you needed a waifu unit, this is it. We're also going to be getting the new free Fest costumes for Elizabeth and Gother, I think, in this update. So that's really, really cool. I, again, love the uh, the Fest costumes they made this time. Very well done. We also get a free multi and a bunch of nice rewards. All this stuff over here. And we have this, which is one of the Hawk Box events, which is very fun. A lot of gems you can't pick up from there. But they're bringing back the Tower of Trials. I'm super shocked. They're bringing back the original format, not the other one, um, but the regular 25 floor one. So that's really cool. We via this event, you can actually tap here. So not only just the regular Tower of Trials being reset, you have a new one being active and you're getting gems, 30 here, 15 here and 10 there. So they didn't even go and nerf the gems. They actually decided to give you the gems as well. Very, very nice. I'm super shocked that Netmarble did that. But yeah, another Tower of Trials. So on top of the Tower of Trials, that's gonna be again reset. You have this. So. Wow, not bad at all. I, I'm super happy about that. But they didn't go. Uh, they did go and add that. Very, uh, very cool. 
we have this over here which is um the training support event and daily mission clear uh reward up event what is this daily mission clear reward up event um during the thing complete daily missions will increase the rewards you can earn um you can actually pick up three gems three gems here three here and three there and then everything else looks like it's buffed as well which is nice okay not bad they're buffing the uh, the dailies for this entire event which is pretty cool two types of training support events um which are these i have no idea what that says so rip on that one then we have new bundles that are uh, going to be available for purchase if you care about that and that looks like it's it for the event type stuff over here um i believe i opened up everything um i think this was the main thing here this was that if anybody cares about the ultimate here you go i kind of skipped this um entire thing it's basically just the addition of the christmas costume i believe yeah this is the same one this is literally the same ultimate they didn't actually go and change the ultimate i'm i'm depressed wow okay yep they didn't change the ultimate it's the same ultimate i expected that obviously um but yeah same ultimate uh nothing really special there this is the again the banner which isn't that bad it isn't terrible definitely a very good banner um we have this over here for again the multi this regular stuff there and yeah i did cover everything okay perfect then we have over here the playable event we have problem fixes fixed an issue in mvp um then they fixed an issue with that they also deleted the kof um holy material um stuff so that's all gone but basically a small uh, update just some decent stuff they added in we have the ability to get new costumes we have lilia now there we have a new banner new stuff like that tower of trials coming back which is crazy and again the character um does not look that bad the only thing is she's restricted to now oc um characters which is the problem okay definitely if you run an oc team you're chilling um but if you're not yeah this might this might not be the unit for you um again if you're somebody just for waifu and you're gonna build the team out for that go for it uh, you could probably make a lot of things work but i will say it right now um she definitely uh with that passive restricts her to one set of stuff so unless you have that set of stuff it will be a little bit difficult to make her work but again if you are able to build that there you go have fun uh if anyone thinking she was gonna be like the counter to nuke um king not yet i, I don't think that, that that is the case could be um that like tomorrow we like actually try her out and she's broken insane and she destroys festival king probably not probably not but yes that is everything again this is the banner um it will be a two-week christmas event we also have leaks for another possible unit that is the new year's one so we will uh, look on to that again big ups to net marble for actually doing this properly which is crazy okay that is that is very very nice also apparently i kind of missed this and i will say this now this is like the greatest event ever they've increased the appearance rate um of ssr equipment on the gear gotcha so the gear gotcha event is there on rate up now which is amazing they also are what during this event the equipment stamp will be really uh, reduced by 50 percent there's no charge for canceling um, um the engraving of the equipment that has been engraved with equipment engraving yeah that's what it literally says so um no cost of engraving which is great or it's reduced by 50 percent then there's this um gear gotcha on rate up which is amazing you know gear gotcha on rate up when you can literally farm so many gems from it that's there so get your gold up global you have two weeks um not bad they did add that in there so i'm super happy about that really good events we have a gem event here another gem event there we wow okay not bad here you got on rate up is like the one of the best events ever uh last time i got like 500 600 um of the regular big stones and then a bunch of the uh smaller ones it was like the greatest time for me i was having uh, a blast now yeah prepare this is gonna be like the greatest time ever get ready or you're 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 i don't know you gotta get ready but yeah, that's all I got for you guys here today. That's basically it. The entire update, the Lilia, all that stuff there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have fun.